I'm Dr. Justin Paul. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon with Ortho Connecticut. I'd like to talk to you today about what happens when you break a bone in your back. Now, as you can see, the spine is a very complicated structure. There are nerves that are trying to come out through these holes and the bones are stacked neatly on top of each other with these discs in between. Those are the shock absorbers. Now, there are a lot of different parts of the bones in the back and each one of them could break if you say, you know, fell off a tree or landed hard on something. You could break off a small piece and that's usually not a big problem. It heals very well. But what happens if you break this big, strong part of the bone that supports your entire back? That's a bigger problem. It tends to happen in our older folks because of a problem called osteoporosis. And that's weakening of the bone strength and makes it a little bit more brittle than the other bones. And there are some high stress areas in your back that take more abuse than others. So often what happens is someone comes into my clinic and I get an x-ray that shows a broken bone. The best thing to do is to treat that broken bone, also known as a fracture. It's often called a compression fracture because it's being compressed. And what I need to do, somewhat urgently, is to inject that bone with cement or something hard to make sure that it doesn't collapse or compress any further. Because if we allow it to keep compressing and compressing, not only will the patient have a lot of pain, but also deformity. Because as you compress, the whole spine will start to tilt forward. And some people end up having to walk around with sort of a hunchback deformity, all because no one could get to them fast enough to inject the bone with cement. The other important thing is the way that I'm able to do it is minimally invasive, meaning it's simply a poke hole incision in the back and it takes me about 15 minutes to do. So if you or a loved one has what's called a compression fracture in their spine, or if they're just having severe back pain and had a recent fall, I think it's best you come and see me so I can evaluate you. Thanks.